Welcome back. This is Dredius with another episode in the Minnesota Vikings franchise. We're now in week 12 in the second half of our first season. And this week we're going to be playing the New England Patriots, who are, in terms of offense, they're very similar to us, but on defensive levels, wow, they are certainly super solid. And looking back at the teams that we've played so far, um, it was certainly when we started playing the Commanders that teams started being very solid. These teams here, for some reason, had a little bit lower overalls. I mean, the Packers, of course, a few players have left. Um, and, uh, and and not the least was the quarterback. And so different players there. The Eagles were a super hard team, but they were uh, individual talent was the difference maker. The Lions, again, also in the overalls, not really that high. The Saints, yeah, that was our own mistake. But whatever, mostly these teams were balanced uh, with us. In terms of of of, of the of the uh, player overalls and so on but the commanders and the bills really were super super high quality teams cowboys as well at home we had no chance um at uh, at getting this done which is our own fault by the way so i'm just gonna put that out there I'm not gonna blame it on anybody else this is only uh it was only my mistake we really had quite a few chances but this week Thursday, a short week. I really, really, really want to get points back. I want to get a win, um, move towards those seven season wins, and uh, yeah, just get on the winning road again. Don't want to dip into the negative in terms of our stats. We're comfortably leading the NFC North, by the way, but still, I want to I wanna be better than that. So, week 12, there's nobody to negotiate. Uh, Jeffrey Wilder will be week 13, so looking forward to that. Apart from that, we're just going to dive into the short week and discuss how to prepare for playing on Thursday night. All right, obviously we have a short week this week, so not much time to create an elaborate game plan. With that being the case, I want to stress how important it is that we play fundamentally sound football. And TJ Hawkinson, our tight end, says definitely with so little recovery time, a lot of guys are going to be less than 100%, which can lead to sloppy football and mental errors. Exactly. And we're better than that. Stress to the team that it's imperative that we take care of the ball and be the team capitalizing off mistakes rather than being the ones making them. Good. So, be the Patriots, commit one or fewer turnovers. Yeah. First thing will be to beat them, and then I'm going to worry about everything else. Uh, nothing more to do. Let's take a look at the team that we will be playing now. So, no surprise. Mac Jones leading uh, the quarterback room here. Start of trade, 80 overall. Uh, yeah, I don't think I have to introduce this player. He's just, uh, he, he had a very good first season. Then he had a pretty meh last season. And now it's time to really show what he can do. I think Bill Belichick will be bringing the best out of him. And uh, I do expect him to be, to be uh, uh, competing with the Patriots, actually. I think that they're a very solid team. And this is this is going to be exciting. Bailey Zappi out of the 22 draft and Trace McSorley out of the two backup quarterbacks here. Uh, Bailey Zappi, I have seen scenarios where people are putting Bailey Zappi ahead of Mac Jones, which I personally find insane. But yeah, whatever. On the running side, we've got Ramondre Stevenson, we've got James Robinson, we've got Pierre Strong Jr. And we've got Kevin Harris, a rookie out of the 22 draft. Pierre Strong Jr., same thing out of the 22 draft. James Robinson and Ramondre Stevenson. James Robinson, let me just check that. Yeah, joining from the Jacksonville Jaguars. So now we have two running backs here that are pretty, pretty solid already and are only 24. So can only get better. Fullback is John Lovett. Wide receiving core, Juju Smith-Schuster recently joined from the Kansas City Chiefs and now he's here with the Patriots and injured. So that's a blow. Devontae Parker, 29 and 82. We've got Kendrick Bourne, 27 and 80. Both of these are, yeah, solid wide receivers. Nothing special, but solid. Then Tyquan Thornton out of the 22 draft and Keishan Booty out of the 23 draft. So two rookies here um, and both are looking pretty promising. I used Tyquan Thornton in my Rams rebuild on uh, Madden 22 and he was just a rocket man. Look at this speed and acceleration. Really, really uh, making him a standout uh, athlete. All the other attributes, of course, can be worked upon, like the release. That's a, that's an important one as well. How quickly he gets off the mark. Uh, but yeah, a good backup wide receiver to have. So Devontae Parker, Kendrick Bourne will be the starters. I'm actually relieved that we will not be facing Juju Smith 
Schuster because this would have been a tricky one. He's not that, that much of a standout, but he does have very, very solid stats. You just have to see that. On the tight end, of course, we're facing two extremely, extremely good tight ends. We're facing Mike Kosicki, who joined from the Dolphins in a trade that I personally see as a win for the Dolphins, to be honest. But on the other hand side, it's a strange one, right? Because what are the Patriots really going to do with Mike Kosicki? He, he was, just wasn't working um, on the Dolphins in my franchise series, particularly. I had to trade him away at some point in time. Um, but uh, apart from that, yeah, 14th best tight end in the league. So the starter here, Hunter Henry behind him with an 83 overall. Uh, Hunter Henry also just a super solid tight end. Uh, you can't really put, put anything else uh, on him here. Matt Sokol behind him. But these two are going to be doing the heavy lifting. And this is a super balanced situation. So let's take a look at the offensive line. Trent Brown, 29 and 86 at left tackle. Calvin Anderson and Trent Brown. Ah, uh, yeah. 86 overall, super well-rounded, 11th best, and a start of trade. This is a dangerous player, don't get me wrong. Next up, left guard, Cole Strange, out of the 22 draft, 24-79. He was picked in the first round, and people were like, what the hell is Bill doing? But Bill knows best, and basically Cole Strange had a very good first season, so can't really find the fault in that one. CD Sau, or Sau. Uh, a rookie at the 23 draft, and Jason Hines, a rookie at the 22 draft, both of which will be competing for the backup spot here. Uh, Cole Strange, still 24, so not really that much uh, pressure to replace him. But these two can grow behind him, and this will work just fine. Center, David Andrews, 30 at 85, a veteran center here, just an experienced player. Jake Andrews, a rookie at the 23 draft behind him, out of Troy College. Normal dev trade. Let's just check it out quickly. Good strength, solid. Run block power, lead block, pass block power, awareness. Yeah, I like those. And the other stats, very balanced. Look at those. 74, 74, 74, 74, and 74. Just one more. And he's going to be green all over. And uh, he will be boosting very quickly. Oh, this is an interesting player. This is really interesting. Because he will be just... Why am I excited about this? Because he will be growing consistently, right? There's no... Uh, no attribute that's going to be dragging him back uh, majorly, right? So when you look at that, it just means that he has a very, very balanced way of growing. So this is uh, this is just a really, really good situation. I think this is good. All right, next up, let's check out uh, right guard. Here we go. Michael Nwenu, 2486. And Antonio Maffi, also a rookie out of the 23 draft. Michael Nwenu. Just look at this one here. Again, start of trade 24 out of Michigan and 86 overall already. Seventh best ranked right guard. The team is way better than the overall suggests, all right? Riley Reif, 33 and 73. All right, this is horrible. And Andrew Stuber, a rookie out of 22. Basically, I just slap Stuber in there and just say, yeah, do your best, mate. But whatever. So Riley Reif is the starter here. I think the uh, overall is being deducted a little bit because of um, because of wide receiving core. I don't know. I don't know where the low overall is coming from, though. Well, never mind. Let's check out defense. We've got Christian Barmore, the 23 and 77. We've got Lawrence Guy. <laughs> Lawrence, you know that you know that that guy on the um, on the on the Patriots. You know that like the like the uh, Lor like that Lawrence guy like. Sorry, guys. Whatever. Christian Barmore, starting here, 23.77. Start of trade out of Alabama. Another one of those. He has high strength and he's got high tackle ratings. So those really matter. Um, then the block shedding, of course, is important because that means how quickly he will be breaking through the offensive line. And he's not bad at that. Dieter Guaz Jr. on the other side. Uh, he's also very, very solid. 28 and 82. Sam Roberts, rookie out of 22 or out of 23 let's just check this out i think it's going to be 22 yeah 22 because the 23 rookies all have faces that is something that i noticed d tackles they uh davon good show uh 27 and 76 here siaki Ike out of uh, baylor college a rookie out of the 23 draft carl davis and Daniel Equale, both of which we will forget instantly. I reckon Siaki Ike and David, David Gucho will be making pressure, putting pressure on us here. Uh, Siaki Ike has insane strength. 95 already. 
And yeah, he'll just be getting better. So keep an eye on that one. Left outside linebacker, Matt Judon. He's a superstar death player. Behind him, Ronnie Perkins. But of course, Matt Judon is the guy to watch out here. Um, absolutely fantastic. Something that I only learned recently is that he was picked super late uh, in 2016, fifth rounder actually. But he doesn't play like that. And he's certainly uh, gone on to show other teams that they should have picked him earlier. Jawan Bentley, then we've got Jelani Tavai and Mac Wilson Sr. A pretty well-rounded, balanced young team uh, here on the uh, on the midline backing room. Jawan Bentley, 26 and 85, already solid. Jelani Tavai, 25, 80, also super solid out of Hawaii. Mac Wilson Sr., 24, the youngest, certainly has the most to grow. Uh, on right outside linebacker, we've got Josh Uchi, 23 and 83. We've got Demarcus Mitchell, another 22 rookie in here. Josh Uchi, take a look. 23, 83, start of trade, and already so many good stats. Zone coverage tracking him back a little bit, but player recognition, power move strength will be up. Block shading also not that hot. Cornerbacks, Jonathan Jones, 23, 83. We've got Christian Gonzalez here, a superstar, picked very early in the 2023 draft. And look at those stats. Speed, acceleration, jumping, man coverage, agility. Crazy, man. Really crazy. He will be very dangerous. Just have to keep that in mind. Those two, the veteran and the rookie, will be a very deadly duo. We've got Marcus Jones, but he's injured out of the 22 draft. We've got Jack Jones, also 22 draft. And Sean Wade, who is uh, going to be, uh, yeah, CB4, I reckon. Free safety to Brill Peppers, 26 and 86, 23 and 68 is Joshua Bledsoe. Strong safety, Carl Duggar, 26, 89. And Martin Mapu, a rookie. Kaimi Fairburn is the kicker. And uh, the puncher is Corliss Whiteman, 27 and 70. Interesting. Okay, now, time for weekly strategy. I feel like we have to exploit the fact that uh, the wide receiving core is weakened a little bit with the injury to Juju Smith Schuster. Um, so basically what I will be doing, I'm going to be sticking with uh, the same approach that I had for most of the training sessions, um, splitting for most players, but uh, focusing on the ones that I want to develop quicker. And here, throw it short. Yeah, this is, I'm, I'm not sure about this. It's either that or the blitz counter versus Matt Judon. Um, and uh, yeah, there we go. I mean, again, I think I'm gonna go with the blitz counter. Let's just um, let's just focus on that. But what does that improve? Let me just check quickly. Faster reaction, short pass, double moves versus off coverage. Nah, we're gonna run it inside because then when I pass it, it most of the time it just catches them off guard, completely off guard. And here we're going to be, uh, wait up, we're just, we're just going to be training here with half pads. We're going to be splitting across the board, except for Karim, because he seems to be fit. So let's just put that in there. Apart from that, I think, I think we shouldn't uh, push our luck. All right, good. That done. Next up, team profile and the weekly game plan goal. We don't have to reach anything special, so we're just going to go for an interception. I do feel like that is realistic. Um, that should be something that we should be able to do. And we need to win the turnover battle anyways, because it's a short week and that is going to be our target. Training was very uneventful. And now I will be upgrading the players uh, as much as we can. So Ezra Cleveland goes up to 77. Our starting left guard gets a lot of attributes going up. The 24 year old out of Boise State. Pretty happy about that. Cameron Bayam, our backup at free safety. And you know, I keep forgetting that we have a pretty young player there as well, because I'm just uh, focused on the starter here. Karim gets some points as well. Again, we're going to slap those into Improviser. I think that is the most important thing to build here. Um, break sack, throw and run, and throw under pressure. I want to get him to scheme fit as quickly as possible. And we also need to make sure that his ratings just keep growing, especially um, for those uh, non non uh, um, standard throws, you know, not, not the main throws, but if you need to just adjust a little bit, then that would be really good. Um, what about this here? Do I want to make him a slot? Now nah, we're gonna focus on the playmaker again. Uh, Puka Nakua, who I dragged up from the practice squad. Um, I'm just gonna see how he how he does. Jalen Naylor, uh, I pushed him down into the practice squad again. 
And uh, yeah, with that said and done, I do think that we need to do a final adjustment uh, because we had a few returns uh, from injury here. And I just want to make sure that everything is still in line. All right, the offense actually looks like it is. What about the defense? All right, defense also looks to be uh, just the way I want to see it. Julian Blackman, uh, Mikai Blackman. I'm going to drag him up. I want to see him as my uh, number three. And I hear Cameron Bynum and Lewis Sign. Of course, Lewis Sign is going to be taking the limelight, but Cameron Bynum behind him. Uh, let's not forget about that. The special teams setting, kick return, put return. Okay, that's KJ Osborne now. Um, before that was Jalen Naylor. And he had that extremely good uh, return right there. Um, and there we go. Third running back, I'm going to use the Wayne McBride. Uh, power half back, yeah, I'm going to be going with uh, Alexander Madison. Uh, Rashawn Johnson is a player that we found in the free agents, of course. Um, and we put uh, uh, Ty Chandler and Kenny and Wang Wu down to the practice squad. You can see that a lot of these players actually will be growing quite nicely when you look at it plus two plus two plus three so over the course um of this season i do hope that we get a few players in here that i probably might not have looked at before um and uh yeah just give us give us sort of a natural progression right all right enough talk off we head into the game Thursday night primetime is uh, the TV space where we will be playing. And here we go. Man 23 presenting the New England Patriots. Going to be playing the Minnesota Vikings. And the Patriots, of course, with the away uniforms, white jerseys, blue pants, blue socks. And we are playing with our home uniforms. And I'm really digging the horns, man. Really digging those. I mean, I, I, I've seen them often enough, but I, I don't know just never really struck me as super fashionable but i really think they look extremely cool oh man christian gonzalez out onto the field and here we go here come the vikings the home team coming out of the viking ship between the runes and uh i would really like to get something from today's game we're gonna do our best against this uh defense that should be underestimated so we opted for the run plays and i will be working alexander madison of course um but we will have to take a look at how uh the defense uh, handles our offensive line or vice versa i think that uh i think that this will be very challenging because they have very very strong d tackles very strong uh, edge rushers and all that combined will will mean a tough game all right they're lining up super close here can we maybe can i drag him out of position here kj osborne i want to see that come on come on kj go 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 yeah quick pass tj hawkinson quick sack we got the ball away by third and ten we lose what we built man i would have liked more all right, Alexander Madison, let's try a screen here at home against a team that is putting a lot of pressure. And there was a flag. Was that a... Uh, was that roughing the passer? Yes. There we go. Yeah, well, Christian Barmer broke through, but then he got too much on Kerem when the ball was being played. So we move ahead. Move here. There we go. Oh, oh, beautiful man. But number 31 was there. Number 31 was there. And TJ Hawkins with another injury. Come on, man. Let's not go there again. I mean, I like Tanner Muse, uh, Nick Muse, and I like Noah Gray, but I'd really like to have our starting quarterback, uh, tight end. Well, that should be... Should be the outcome here let's go ball is live alexander madison breaking through and stopped emphatically of course at the 37 yard line but we're still moving we're still going 
And fun fact, I don't know what exactly Bill Belichick did to EA or uh, the, the, the Madden team, but he's never in the game. Did he at some point in time just really, I don't know, may, may, make a comment or, or something, but it's just really, it's so funny because he's just not in the game. It's just some random fat dude always. It's not even a thin dude. It's a random fat dude. There we go. Karim gets the ball away. Kabam. And that was beautiful. Justin Jefferson finding the perfect route. Karim finds Justin Jefferson on that run. And we pick up quite a few yards. Matt June was coming on him. Was coming on him. I wanted to say was was coming from the right side, putting pressure on him. And out came this. Oh my lord, it's it's a red high, and it will it's also like super wobbly and shaky. So alright, we're gonna be using Noah Gray as our starting tight end. Funnily enough, I haven't used the tight ends as much in this uh, franchise series as I did in others. There we go. But nevertheless, come on, Noah Gray. Well done. Well done. That's a good run. Right. Why shallow cross? Let's go. Another one. Noah Gray, looking for you. You're going to show us why we traded for you. Why we picked you up. I mean, you were on the trade block. Yes, I know. Oh, my God. Oh, that was so close. That was so close. Did you see that? And we're always super close to a sack here as well. Jordan Addison, I'd love to get him. But uh, KJ Osborne, also an option. Oh, my goodness. And that, that is a touchdown. And as weird as the missed catch for Noah Gray was before, same level of weirdness is this catch here. Take a look at this. Kaboom. Just sort of snapping it out of the air. Mac Jones not happy. But our first drive and we... We lead. And they strike back immediately. All right. All my hopes that they would be struggling without Juju Smith-Schuster. Shattered. Absolutely shattered. All right. That's not... That sounded dramatic, right? Okay. Jordan Addison and his opposing number. I think we can put him off. KJ Osborne on the short route. Beautiful. Oh, and that's low. Oh, and he drops it. Ah, oh, man. I don't think that the run game is, is going to be very promising here. Um, so let's go with a slant. Because there is some space here. Oh my lord. Why is that so inaccurate? Why, Karim? Come on. Don't do that. Don't do that. Because I'd like to keep you playing. But those throws are not really... Nice. So let's see. I mean, I could go for this one here. I'm going to try this. KJ Osborne, come on. Beautiful. His catching and, and, and holding onto the ball is really super solid. Really super solid. Can't put any blame on him. No blame, man. Gets a distance. And then, through the contact, he can really hold on to the ball. Okay, good. And I really like Kerm's production. I'm really liking this. Um, Alright, what's next? Let's go to the play-action crosshair. Looking for Osborne, looking for Addison. Addison would be awesome if he opens up. There we go. Quick stop, number 32 was on him. But Jordan Addison does find the space, gets enough distance, and uh, the ball was good enough, I would say. And Karim's grown quite a bit, actually. I think it's plus four or plus five. Let's go. Play action cross country. Jordan Addison is going to go for a run. I'd love to see him get away. Love to see him get away, of course. Oh, God. Whoa, my... Oh, sweet Jesus. That was... Oh, my God. Oh, my Lord. That scared me. Jesus, man. Look at this. Because <laughs> Karim goes back. And immediately, number eight comes through the gap. 
Look at that. And I just saw him coming straight at me. That's Jawan Bentley. Oh, my God. <laughs> and I was just waiting. Go, 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 go. Jordan, 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 go. But he didn't have enough. And he just had to get rid of the ball. There was absolutely no curve. It wasn't even that bad. Jordan Addison probably could have even... I don't know. If he jumps for that, maybe. But, yeah. <laughs> Well, that was just scary. That was just super scary, man. Okay, left-hand side right. Dwayne McBride, I, I think I'm going to give it a go. But we have been more successful with the passing, though. So we just have to... Let's go with the birds under. All right, here we go. Kaboom, kabam. KJ Osborne, will they adjust? Dwayne McBride. Oh, UDFA talent. And stropped here, third and six. We try to get forward a little bit more, and he actually evades the first tackle. And then, is that Jordan Addison breathing hard? Uh, Justin Jefferson breathing hard. Yeah, we're using a lot of pass plays at the moment, but they are worth it. Stiff arming and staying inbounds. That was important. Jordan Addison, our newly crowned Dev superstar, superstar Dev trade is the correct order of words but yeah there we go also really liking the the purple it's just it's a very very i don't know i think it's i just feel it's a very calming color right alexander madison i never expected to get many yards here i just wanted to take some pressure off the wide receivers half back inside zone left hand side run can we break through i don't see this working the two minute warning hits us and we're going to go with a post-wheel drag. Let's see. Noah Gray, Justin Jefferson. Hustle, hustle. There we go. And that is actually a pretty good opening. I was actually watching uh, Justin Jefferson and Noah Gray. But in the end, it was Jordan Addison that was suddenly free. Look at that. It was completely open. Couldn't get the curve but that was actually a good connection here. Karim doing really well. Doing really, really well. Gonna be going left. Alexander Madison. Ball is left. There we go. Over to the top. Beautiful stop here by. Who was that? Number 72? Was that number 72? And at 1 minute 26. This screen really works very well. Karim gets the ball over the top. And number 68 gets a block in here. Number 72, Jeffrey Wilder, man. No, that's Ezra Cleveland. Jeffrey Wilder is uh, 69, I think. So, there we go. KJ Osborne, Noah Gray. Jordan Addison would be fantastic. Mmm, out of bounds. Well, not out of bounds, but out of reach for him, is what I wanted to say. A bunch drive looking for Alexander Madison. Certainly, Alexander Madison is the target. And he drops it. Oh, my God. All right, let's grab those points. Greg Joseph. Let's grab those points, of course. Not grab those points. But he is on point. And we get three more on the board. Ten versus seven. As we move along in the second quarter. And we manage to hold uh, Mac Jones going forward. That is actually good. That is a pretty good stop. All right. RPO. Yeah, let's go. Play action wide receiver cross. Three, two, one, Kabam. Justin Jefferson. Snap is good. Oh, and that is a sack. Second and 20. And Matt Juden with a sack here. I was waiting for him to get away. And Juden was just beelining it. Second and 20. We lose a full 20 yards. Uh, 10 yards. 20 yards. Can we get McBride? And there we go. And we're going to make good on that. Stepping out of bounds. Fantastic job by the UDFA 
player. Nice. Nice. Stopping the clock here. We're still 10 and 7, so we didn't mess up too much. We're going to go with another screen. I think that'll work, right? All I want to do is get into field goal range. Get us the chance to get another one. Kerem is like a champ in taking those hits. And here we go. We step out of bounds at the 17 second mark. Let's get some slants. Let's get some slants. I oh, know we're putting on the pressure now. We need to get to the uh, red line, I think it is. I think that is the field goal line. Jefferson or Addison. Oh my god. Almost picked. I know, I said... <laughs> I, I said other names that went for somebody different. But, yeah, let's see. Noah Gray, KJ Osborne. Probably, maybe. There we go. That's KJ Osborne, and... Alright, we didn't stop the clock, but now... Let's call a timeout. Let's just... Try and get a 52-yard field goal. I mean, this is super far, right? Oh... Well... Oh, that actually works out. Okay. I thought it was going to go wide, but it didn't. So, second half. And, of course, Mac Jones pushes back at us. Was to be expected fully here. 14 and 13. We're not we're not we're not far away. Let's just stay focused here. Find the gap. Oh wow, what was that? I thought it was through. And boom! The hand came out of nowhere. Second and three though. Curved run Alexander Madison. So far, number 72. I need a block. Hmm. Couldn't get number five away. And I'm not displeased with Alexander Madison, actually. I really like... I really like what's happening here. Really like what he's doing, what he's producing. He's uh, He would never have played a lot behind Dalvin Cook, but like this... I'm actually happy. All right, Justin Jefferson on the turn. Could be an option. KJ Osborne. Oh, Hawkinson is back. Oh, Lord. Wow, what happened? <laughs> I was watching the player and suddenly the the throw went all strange. Uh, let's see what was happening, what's happening. Oh, oh, wow, okay. Because Osborne, I was just watching it and he's now, now I was about to throw because it was past the defender. He had all the space to run into, but yeah, not happening. Second and 10. Thank you, Mr. Stadium Speaker. It's now second and ten. Play action boot. Off we go. TJ Hawkinson. Maybe pass interference. Pass interference. Yeah, there we go. Okay. I like that. Jabril Pepper is a little bit too wild here. Let's try Alexander Madison on this... Uh, Move over here. Hmm. Now, nah, let's hit him with this one. Right inside, slightly curved. 67. Get a block in there. And Alexander Madison pushes forward. We get a first down. And the 35. See? What's there not to like about this? What is there not to like? A play, a, a play action, X deep out. Where's the X? I cannot see it. But here we go. We're going to go with the Flood. Wait up. That was the wrong one, right? Yeah, that was the wrong one. This is the one I wanted to see. Smacked away by Josh Uchi. Oh, not liking it. Let's try a half back inside zone. They're doubling, man. Oh! Oh my god. Oh my god, man. Yeah, that was bad. Again, Uchi pretty quickly through here. Third and 12. We lose two yards. Let's try post wheel drag. Now, that running was. That was a bad choice. There's a lot of space on that left, actually. So we might. Go with uh, with a play towards the left, maybe. 
Okay, we're gonna keep running it inside in terms of uh, their prep. I want them to think that we will be doing that a lot. Okay. All right, let's go. Dwayne McBride. I want to see you running like hell on third and 12. <laughs> hmm. Still a lot of space out there. Ah, we're gonna we're gonna try. It. Jesus Lord, I needed you to do that, and you didn't. So here we go. Oh, 54 yards. Oh, and it's good. Wow, what a good field goal. 54 yarder. That's not I'm not taking those for granted. 40 and below, yes. But 50 and up. Yeah, well done, man. Really well done. Come on, D. Mm, and we can't stop them. Okay. So, we've got 3 minutes 55 to score a touchdown because everything apart from a touchdown would not help us. And we're facing this tough defense once more. Wow. Oh, my God. Karim got it there. Just hold on to the freaking ball, man. Man. Oh, that was it. That is annoying. You know, it's not even it's not even some some humbum wide receiver. It's my best wide receiver. Come on, man. Oh my God, what exactly are? Oh. Third me. All right, we're just giving it away a little bit today. I thought I pressed the bullet pass, and I thought that was actually the way it was going to play out, but that did not happen. What can we go with here? Let's try this one. Just hold on to the ball for once, man. All right, fourth and one. Seeing as it's uh, three minutes down, of course, we will not be punting because I'm not absolutely insane. Let's set up an inside zone here. Gonna go towards that left-hand side. Uh, Right-hand side, of course. Get away, man. Oh, did we get across? Did we get across? I think we did because Mac Jones is not moving onto the pitch. Oh, but that was a close one. He was tiptoeing his way in. Addison Jefferson Osborne, one of you guys, get into position now. Smack the way. For frick's sake, man. It looked like the best choice. Might not have been. Yeah, we're going to have to go with Osborne. Yeah, completely out of reach. Osborne losing steam. Third and ten. If we don't get the turnover now, we're going to lose the game. God damn it, Karim! What was that? What exactly was that? Why? Why was that so inaccurate? Look at this. Justin Jefferson was just moving over there. He had a lot of space to run into. And that ball just really goes nowhere. Ah. Oh. Well, yes, there was pressure on him. I do acknowledge that, but come on. Ah, oh, dude. You're killing me, man. Jefferson or Addison. I have to go for one of these two. Yeah, perfect. Perfect throw straight absolutely into nowhere again. Oh, God damn it. One minute seven. And that is a lifeline. Can we please use that? At the 18. But now their defense is just really hiking it up. Going into overdrive. There we go. Come on, Justin. Oh, we don't have a timeout. Oh, I didn't see that. All right, can we stop with the theatrics? Oh, my Lord. All right. Okay, okay, okay. Let's be quick about this now. 
Mmm. Out of reach. That was too quick. 31 seconds. And we need to manage the clock as well. So, not too crazy about this. A field goal will not do it. Go, 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 go. And get, get out of bounds. Ooh. Ooh, I was fighting for that. Step towards the right. First I avoided it, and then I had to press there. Second look at this. Nice spiral. Jefferson moving ahead and then oh has to go outside. Verts half back on. Good, 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 good. I mean Justin Jefferson is breathing hard. I'm looking for Madison or Osborne. Now I have to take one where I can get to an out here. They actually dig for it. Let's go with this one. Let's go with this one. And I'm gonna tell you what. I'm going to be putting a hot route on Jordan Addison. Let's go. Jordan Osborne. A uh, KJ Osborne. Incomplete. Second and ten. Second and ten. Yeah, intended for KJ Osborne. He doesn't get there. We don't have a timeout. Oh, this is killing me. Pukanuku is on the field. Jalen Ragor is on the field. Oh my god, what is on what's, what's up with the others? Okay. Hmm. Doesn't get there. Doesn't get there. Doesn't get there. Okay. What can we do here? There's hardly a way through. They are really setting up super crazy tight. Four verticals. Gonna go with TJ Hawkins. Go, man. Fucking hell. And that is... That is the game. And that is the fucking game. Shit! Yeah, that's it. What a bullcrap situation, man. What a freaking bullcrap situation. Yeah, I think he said bullshit. What a fucking situation, man. Jesus, I'm livid. Man. 207 yards, 48% completion rate. It, is, it has been going down pretty hard here against these tough teams. Mac Jones, two touchdowns, 173 yards. On the rushing side, yeah, Ramondre Stevenson, Alexander Madison, Hunter Henry. On the receiving side, Justin Jefferson, Devontae Parker, Jordan Addison with a touchdown here. Oh, man, what a frustrating game. Kenneth Murray Jr., solo tackles, total tackles quite a few. Sack by Wise Jr. and Matt Juden, and one interception by Jabril Peppers. Ah, oh, damn it. I didn't think the short week would affect us that much, but clearly it did. Didn't get the job done. Yeah, you're right, TJ. You're damn right. And I'm not going to put a blame on you there, but... To be honest, you weren't that fantastic either, right? Oh, this sucks, man. Five and six. I wanted to avoid that. All right, guys. Next week, play against the Jets. Oh, that's going to be easier, right? Oh, wait, wait, wait. No, what? Oh, Aaron Rodgers is coming to town. Oh, that's nice. Not looking forward to that one. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, we should have won this game, and we're really having a bad streak at the moment. It's always close. This was close, and this was actually close as well. We should have won that. We should have gotten that. But we completely messed up those passes, and no timeouts, and... Oh, oh man, I'm pissed. Well... Sorry for the cursing, guys and gals. Hope you enjoyed the game, though. I did. I mean, I like it when it's intense, but it's just frustrating as well sometimes. But what can you do? Thanks for watching so much. Thank you for being here. Thanks for tuning in. Appreciate each and every one of you a lot. And as always, guys, see you next time.